Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa. If it's your first time here, I hope you consider staying. And if you're a training subscriber, thank you so much for coming back by. I am getting ready to go out. We are having my nephew's first birthday breakfast date. Yes, yes. So we are getting ready with me. I am going to be wearing these jeans from Mr. Price. I love them so much, but the struggle with getting inside because I had to adjust the waist, but then having them passed on my thighs is a problem and also don't know between <coughs> this one this top and this one how i'm gonna which one i'm gonna wear and but we'll see let me get into the jeans and then i will decide a top after seeing like how i look and again, I delay one side. And then, Kavian tell ya, the other way, stick to the left of Topanakush. As in a cool palanim man. This is a jean. I fought for my life, I got inside the jeans. Which is great. Now we need to pick a top. So I'm gonna try on this one first because I really wanna wear this one. But alternatively, then I'll wear this. Yeah, I'll show them what you're wearing. Wait. This shirt was um 50 rand. You know, you know the time you can get a JD like Father's Day gift. For so someone who doesn't have real to. <laughs> and I have a scissor. Okay, let me wear this shit and then let's see. Woo! Ha ha! I'm fun! Huh? Keep a baby that's wrong with him. I'm a whole lot of people. I guess I'm. Uh, all righty this is the top this is the top this is the top i like this i like this the problem is this what's going to happen here it's cold and I'm not even comfortable, like, having my skin out like that. So, but then, get over like a man, get over your fast. I shall want to lead you fitness, watch it really, run at the side I like this top, but I feel like maybe today is not the day for it because I would want for it to shine, but I can have it shining when I want to tuck it in and like my back is exposed and whatnot so let's try um let's wear the other shirt and then we'll style it this is not gonna work the way it worked in my brain I'm not sure about this hemp and this trouser. I feel like they're not working. The idea was to wear it with, I mean, to wear a leather jacket on top. Babe, what do you think? Isha? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like hemp doesn't work. Let me see. Yeah, what does it look like? Hemp is the book. Isn't that the game? 
I know that's right. I decided to change into this striped shirt because all the other shirts I just felt like they were not working out. The vision was not coming to life. So I'm wearing the mix bar from Clicks. Love it. It's more so all my perfumes are floral. Floral and vanilla. I love it. And then I just want to accessorize a little bit. I actually feel like I want to wear something on my neck. Um, I will ask Happy to do a fit check for you guys outside. I'm going to take my leather jacket from the fix. And then I am going to take my Joe Burkhardt bag. So let's get going. So this is the fit. It's giving... I could be sports wise. It's giving work. Yeah. <laughs> this is me. So yeah, let's go have a breakfast. They are all late because no one is called or asked me which name do you use to book the table. I know they are all late, yes, I but let's go. Thank you. 
Precisely, so the ladies will be at the house of the kids. I feel like I should have bought wine at Woolies. I probably should have done that. But I didn't say it, so anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll catch you guys when you get to Westview. Oh, it's Try the amarula strawberry Ethiopian version. Hi guys, um today is a Sunday and I'm at my sister's house and I just thought to come here and just say a few words and I hope that these words will find the person who they're meant for. I'm at my sister's house. We came here with our kids. All the sisters are here. It's nice. We slept very late. Just talking about a lot of stuff, enjoying music together, and you know the kids playing with each other and all that. And I do not take it for granted that my siblings and I have managed to create the kind of relationship that we currently are having, where we are still close and we are intentional about our relationship outside of our parents and outside of being siblings you know um the majority of our relationship is solely based on the fact that we were born and raised in the fa the same family and Sitskela is actually my uncle's daughter but we were born a relationship that is so close that it's hard to for anyone to understand like or fathom the fact that she is not my mother's like she's not from my mother's womb, but she's my mother's child. So we've come to a point where we've stopped trying to explain it, and we just say, "Give us one, mama," and you know, keep it moving. It's it, it makes much more sense. It's just better for everyone to understand it that way. And the honest truth is that I love that. I love the fact that we are so close that you can't tell us apart, and the relationship is not forced. It's just natural. The fact that we can come to us unannounced and you're like i'm not home and like it's fine you're not home open the gate <laughs> you don't have to be home just open the gate you find us at your house and we do whatever we need to do we cook we do whatever and i think more than anything i'm happy that our kids are getting to experience this life of knowing that your 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 your, your, sib, your aunt or your uncle's children are your sisters or brothers you know you hold them the same regard as you would if they were from your mother's womb. I don't know if that makes sense. But what I'm trying to get at is I hope that if you desire to have a relationship with your siblings, please build it. You know, sometimes yes, you grow apart because parents are as like either in the experience as parent is as old as you are. They were never parents before you and they learned as the journey world our parents i believe they did the best that they could with what they had and what they known and yes as we grow in those some of those things register as traumas or uncomfortable experiences or life threatening or life altering however they did the best that they could and sometimes how our parents raise us affects the relationship we have we have with our siblings i'm seeing that with myself because i'm a middle child and i'm a middle child in the sense that my mom has five kids Biologically, so he would probably, and then his good level sister who are twins, and then there's me, and then there's Jennifer. So somehow I'm the middle child, even though technically the twins, you know, one of the twins could be called middle child. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm a middle child in that sense, and 
it flares up every now and then because as a middle child your parents are either dealing with a teenager who's older than you or they're focusing on the younger child and you in the middle just kind of fend for yourself and you learn to just you know go through life like that and now that i'm getting older i still see you know traits of the middle child in me and i get triggered when i see my siblings together without me and i'm just i just i, I feel that the feeling of ne being neglected pops up and i know that they're not neglecting me it's just that in proximity they are much more closer to each other than i am but that middle child thing pops up and it's not their fault and it's not my i can't say it's my parents fault like i'm saying my parents have been parents for as long as they've had kids and with every child you are a new parent because you know kids have different needs right but i just wanted <clears throat> to say be intentional about building the relationship with your siblings because the honest truth is that they love you and they've got your back and when you build a close knit relationship with your with your siblings okay it's, it's, life is life is rosy <laughs> life is rosy because you have a support system that is not based off the fact that you have money or you don't have money that you married or you're not married or that you're educated or you're not like you have an unconditional support system and i love that and i'm so grateful that we are so intentional with the relationship that the people that we have married now nah, the people can tell us apart from our partner people that just met at a family event whatever they mistaken my brother-in-law my husband for being my mom's kids and they're just like i didn't know you had four sons mom was like that's because i don't <laughs> i don't but like people can't tell the difference between this scale and Kiletsu, who was my brother's girlfriend. Because the way Sinji, we are like this. I can't bite on my siblings. We are like, we are this. If now, for some reason, I was arrested, trust and believe 30 minutes would be too long in that jail cell because my siblings will come through for me. So I really hope that you guys cultivate relationships with your siblings and that your kids grow around support systems because life was never meant to be like to go through it alone in isolation or whatever yes certain seasons allah you know ask that of you but life in its entirety does not require us to be alone it requires us to belong to a family belong to a system and i hope that the first system that you have is with the people that you actually born with and raised with i hope that it is possible for you to experience the type of love and connection that you can get from your siblings i know that family situations are not the same and for some people it's almost like an impossibility but if there's a room for you to create that relationship i'm asking you that you give it a chance and see where it goes so i just wanted to share that I, it was in my heart to because every time i was with my siblings and i see and i watch them from a distance i, I just say silent prayer and say thank you lord for this experience because as a manly man, being born to the same family does not mean we want to have that connection. We are related, but being connected is a whole different thing. And I just, I'm just really thankful that our children get to grow away. They, when they say mama to my sister, it's because they, it's not just for saying that because they don't know how to say mama. It's because of the love and the connection and the warmth that they get from that other parent. When they say daddy to any brother they like it's because the the person resembles and acts as a father of african tradition literally says mom will be your mom's older sister money being your mom's younger sister so they all have ma which is a mother and our kids say it because they can feel that connection and i really hope that you are able to give your kids and your niece and nephews that type of connection you know yeah let me not ramble this was just planted in my heart and i wanted to share it with you guys do let me know in the comment section how your relationship with your siblings is and what you would desire for it and if you're an only child are you cultivating that kind of relationship with your aunt uncle's kids or are you cultivating that type of connection with your friends because sometimes the village might not be your siblings it could be your friends so let's have the chat in the comment section down below but Jimmy might help us by not eating a food, Mama, because now this is the breakfast. I beg I am making very much
Look down. Shut. Yeah. 